Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I just did the Divine Masculine Twin Flame read if you want to check that out. And now I'm going to do the Oracle cards for you guys. It is April 24th, 2019. Okay, so the 24th has to do with the Queen of Wands energy, which came up very much so in the read. It was in the underlying energy. And so you might want to listen to that. And then um, today adds up to the 40 of the Page of Cups, which is one of the cards um, Jesus comes up under is number 40 and that unconditional love of a child that pure innocence so we have the queen of wands which is like the it's like the uh, you know our karmic mothers <laughs> it's like us as little children dealing with our karmic mothers and they're the aggressive ones the ones that are very magnanimous with lots of personality but maybe verbally abusive physically abusive or just very overwhelming in their personality not necessarily abusive Okay. And it doesn't mean they're all bad because we all have mothers who yell at us and, and do things that aren't necessarily the nicest thing in the world. But they can also have very loving and fun qualities and be very social and like lots of attention. Right? So they could be the, a personality who's the life of the party, but then go home and whack their kids, you know, so. And no judgment here. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> all right. So, since Jesus is coming up, we'll go with Mary Magdalene and Jesus again today. Let's see what the messages are. It's April 24, 2019. Take a deep breath, everyone. April 24, 2019, for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What is it we need to know? What is it we need to learn? Um, God, please armor us all with your love. Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all is concerned. Transmute, transform, transform, and clear. Filling the empty spaces with only beautiful, organic, loving light. Down the light, please. And what is our guidance? Mary Magdalene and Jesus. Okay, so we have Archangel Metatron. Very perfect. Because I was Metatron was definitely coming up in the masculine read because I often see Metatron as the one um, looking over, you know, keeping all the masculines in line keep guiding them back to their path that they need to be on. So 27 is the Ace of Wands. It's that that truly passionate energy, whether it's whatever passion it is, creative passion, it's definitely sacral chakra energy of sexual energy and just creative energy. The uh, For Archangel Metatron, the affirmation is I attuned to Archangel Metatron today. So golden orange light comes up there so perfect for the color of my shirt to allow his wings to enfold you and ask him to ask to visit him as at his ascension retreat in Luxor during meditation or sleep so you can receive his guidance it may come through as a, as a as a thought a whisper or a feeling he will open new doors for you all right so we got one card for uh, Mary Magdalene came out dolphins number 23 and that's the King of Wands, which came out in the read. And then for Jesus, we have number 10, the Sun of the Masculine Energy and the Wheel of Fortune. And then three more cards came up, and I'll show them to you. I'm not going to read these, though. We have Serapis Bay, number 41, which is the Ace of Cups. We have here Orion, number 18, which is the Moon. And we also have Marco, number 47, which is the seven of cups and the read was done at 47 to 48 okay so seven of cups is very much about synchronicities but also heaven in their eyes and opportunities so the moon and the seven of cups and the ace of cups so it's all about self-love and new love and spiritual love of the feminine energy the 18 the moon and the false light and making that connection because Marco is always Marco Polo comes up making that 5d connection with love at night heaven in their eyes when you make your connection and don't forget when you sleep you don't you have no control over what you're doing or what guides are doing with you so don't worry so much about knowing what to do. You'll be guided every step of the way as you learn. 
So Dolphin says that Dolphin Sonics purify, and Sonics actually came up in the read, and I didn't know why. Dolphin Sonics purify and raise the frequency of water as they swim through it so that they can access, maintain, and pass on the wisdom of the Golden, of golden Atlantis and Lemuria. Those dolphins who shimmer with aquamarine light were the angels of Atlantis. They are mighty beings who help to hold the frequency of the oceans. Choosing this card invites you to tune in to the beautiful dolphins and access a message from them. Your guidance is to relax and flow with the current of ascension, knowing that the dolphins are telepathically imparting help and wisdom to you. The affirmation being, I connect with dolphin wisdom. So you might want to listen to some dolphin whale sounds um, to help you get to that energy. And you may want to, you know, purposely connect with them again, like in your meditation and or your sleep time. But the King of Wands is also coming up as the Man of Passion. And don't be deceived by the dolphins, right? Because they're coming up here as the, the Man of Passion energy. The very passionate beings. Aquamarine Light, the angels of Atlantis. They are mighty beings. And getting connection, the mighty beings of the ocean, the beautiful dolphins. Okay, so I'm going to connect with that energy. It's very beautiful. I'm just feeling that tingly light energy, actually. Um, so the sun for Jesus here. And so you might want to go not only listen to dolphins, but you might want to go, you know, somewhere where you can get in a tank with a dolphin go to Hawaii or an island or Florida or wherever you are in the world where you can access, you know, getting in the tank with a dolphin. It might be wonderful for you. The sun comes up as number 10, the wheel of fortune. It's also that high vibe energy, one that trill. The sun is the navel chakra of the universe. It radiates the divine masculine principles onto us. Choosing this card suggests the universe is calling on you to develop your qualities of decisive action protecting the vulnerable, rational thinking, courage, and strength. Invoke the sun in order to light up your aura and fill you with renewed enthusiasm for life. This energy will enable you to help everyone feel welcome and empowered, which is an important ascension quality. Your guidance is to fill your aura with brilliant golden light, to be true to yourself and act decisively today. So the fir one of the first things I was getting at the beginning of this card is that dynamic between the Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands may have been needed there, right? because the twins, being so vulnerable as children, may have needed a mother like that to truly protect them like a bodyguard, okay? The affirmation is I radiate golden light and I take decisive action today because the mother in our lives may have been very decisive, always very sure of herself. So, you know, with certain personality traits, there always comes the polarity of that, but that may have been the energy needed in order to raise a twin to have her guards around her or his guards around him. And I definitely felt that. On my CD cover is a picture of me and my dad when I was about eight years old, I suppose, um, walking, but there's a an aura you can see around my head. My dad's next to me walking. He looks like like a, an, an agent or something, you know, my bodyguard. And then this woman behind me just happens to have her head looking down like she's a spy or something. <laughs> it's a really cool picture, actually. But that's the, the, the energy of this, that we were actually incarnated to be with, you know, our soul family who was there to get us through where we needed to be to do this journey. So remember that about your parents and your siblings. And remember how connected the sun and the dolphins are to each other. Do you ever think about dolphins without thinking about the sun? being in the beautiful ocean water when it's sunny out on a beautiful day. I'm also getting that the King of Wands is lucky energy because he's always so um, energetic and positive. So keeping that energy high brings him, you know, good energy into his life. Just showing you an example of that. So we have two cards and then three cards. So we have one and one of the magician, the two magician embodiments of the twins, and then three more, which is five, and plus the three is of the earth, because the sun came up for the masculine. Here's three of the earth, Gaia, 
Mother Nature, that's the feminine representation. And then we also have the moon here of that third reflection, the false light, that is needed also. There's a purpose for everything. And the three and two, two plus the third energy is five of expansion and light. And don't forget that five is the hierophant can very much represent the God energy. I'm getting that that's one tradition that we don't have to do without. But remember that's, that's love, it's source, it's energy, prime creator, the collective consciousness. However you want to put it, it's love. All right. So now we have the past life deck here. Take another deep breath, guys. Today is April 24, 2019. April 24th, 2019. April 24th, 2019. And speaking of the Queen of Wands, <laughs> I always tell you guys, my mother's in an Alzheimer's facility, and apparently we got a call this morning because someone had brought her to the front and had to go run to do something, and I don't know if they had left him with someone or not, but then my mother ended up falling out of the chair, you know, and she got a bump on her, and they always have to call to make sure that, you know, to see if you want them to go to the hospital or not. But um, uh, just the energy of the Queen of Wands today, and was she up to, you know, was she being mischievous? So she may have been trying to get out of her chair because she wanted to make a run for it or something like that. And I'm not, you know, just saying that. My mother has definitely tried to, has definitely tried to do that before. It's pretty funny, actually. All right, so take a deep breath for April 24, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? All right, the bottom of the deck is knighthood here. Again, this is from Mary Magdalene and Jesus. So the underlying energy is still feeling the need to protect yourself, and that's that mask that the, that the masculine carries, but also the feminine, to let go, let go of the, the false mask, which has to do with family lineage, literally physical protection, like clothes, too much clothes on, too much shoes and not connecting with nature, and also feeling too cold because you're always, you know, living and dying by the sword, the truth, instead of being loving, okay? And loving then encompasses all. It is the truth. But when truth cuts off love, that doesn't serve anyone. And I'm, they're, tell, they're being funny. That the only one who should be in this costume is maybe the waiter serving you at a fun restaurant. Okay. That this and this is beneath it. That this is not wise. Okay, you do not you do not need armor. The only armor that you need is love and nature. Okay? Because nature is here to provide you with protection. That's why the vines always they tend towards electrical wires and connections because it wants to actually protect you from them. So we have here for Mary Magdalene, lessons and blessings reversed. And we've been getting these a lot. And then we have for Jesus, we have help. Okay, and I've been getting a lot, a carrot here. You know, the snake could be the Kundalini, but it also could be, you know, who's the snake trying to keep the carrots away from you? And the carrot could just be, you know, good carrot. Something good. It's time to um, stop worrying about your lessons and lessons and blessings of the past, right? So we've been doing a lot of wounding, uh, bringing up the stuff to clear it. And it's saying to presently focus more on your current health situation. Make sure you're eating well. Get your carrots. You know, keep your spiritual practice balanced as well. Make sure you keep your kundalini healthy because now that's another part of you you need to focus on.
you your kundalini they're t come bringing up that is is 24 karat gold that's your 24 karat gold so protect your kundalini your carrot and your eyes your third eye you know make sure that you have a daily spiritual practice to keep them healthy don't worry about time you're not being timed here you are naturally being guided as you go so don't fear know that all is well in every moment there's no timer we're not racing this is not a competition so focus on your health what feels good to your body because your body is going to tell you what's good for you whether you think of it as something health related or not if it's bad for you you're going to feel like crap and some of the energy that I've maybe been feeling this week of negative energy has been because of the food I've been eating because of Easter you know the food I don't normally eat and I was running out of food I've been kind of putting off going to get my organic foods which I'm usually really good about and it totally can throw your whole system off which is why it's hard for me sometimes to travel because you can't always have what you normally eat when you're on the road traveling because you know I make my my uh, my blended fruit vegetable mix in the morning which has like 10 different things in it so obviously when you're on the road it's not that easy to do that kind of thing so again pay attention to what feels good and what doesn't and you know try to stick to what works for your body what makes it feel good so the other four cards that came up here are these four here all right we have forgiveness reversed father upright celtic reversed and biblical reversed and then biblical reversed has been coming up a lot lately I'm getting to as far, you know, because Mary Magdalene brought up the uh, lessons and blessings, so that was more geared toward the feminines, and then the health issues more geared towards the masculine. Make sure to take care of your health. If you're working too much, you need to slow down and eat your carrots and learn to work with your kundalini energy. And for women, stop worrying about how long things take and just enjoy the moment. Don't let your top pop. <laughs> okay, so the, bibl the biblical reversed. Because this upright is very much about, you know, the carpenter, about Jesus' energy, about working hard with your hands and being creative. But from the past, right, that you're not a good man unless you work very hard to do this. And so we're getting rid of that idea. It's not about working hard anymore. It's about, it doesn't matter how noble the work is. If it's not what is authentic to you and what you love to do, then it's not the job for you. And if it's something you love, yeah, sometimes you're going to overwork because you just don't want to stop. You love it so much. And that's the idea here. So Celtic is reversed because, again, uh, the negative energies of the church in Ireland as well as alcohol and drinking too much and the Neanderthal man is coming up here because you see in this card in the cross is very much Neanderthal man okay so there's some kind of energy from I from Ireland or that area of the world that focuses too much on what the church says to do and also you know the alcohol has been brought in here several times as well. Then we have the father, the connection of the father, very important here. Um, and unforgiveness. Father and ch again, father and child. Okay, this has been very important all week. And this could be a little girl or a little boy, but it has to do with the father connection. And it's not saying um, 
forgiveness. Sometimes it's never to not forgive. But it's saying here there's someone in the situation who's refusing to forgive. And to remember back the connection when, when you were little. Because you're not seeing the whole perspective. You're not having compassion for what they went through. Right? So like the abusive father, that all you now see is the abuse and how it affected you. But you have to go back to realize the abuse that he also experienced from his father, that kind of thing. To see the compassion that he's actually the same as you. And remember that bond and let go of the unforgiveness, if not for the other person, for yourself, always. And remember that they may have been taught that way. They may have had that religious upbringing where their whole family were big drinkers and they were just raised that way. It may not have been their fault. And once they may have that alcoholic gene in them, you know, it's very hard to undo once it started. It's the same thing even just with being overweight in a family that's overweight. How can you blame that child for obesity who's been obese since they were below the age of 10? It's not their fault. It was their contract to experience this. To be in a family that's not loving themselves, right? By abusing their bodies, by doing things that don't feel good, right? Doesn't make their body work right, whether it's alcohol or food or drugs or whatever it is. Is there anything else that I'm supposed to go through? I'm getting that specifically that there's someone from the Celt the Celtics team that this applies to. The unforgiveness that needs to be undone. And also health issues. Someone may be very sick. Someone's father may be sick. And that you need to make peace with them. So put down your guard. Take the armor off. They can't hurt you anymore. The forgiveness remembers for you. But that we need to always have compassion. And again, like I said, it's come kind of someone specific from the Celtics. Someone's father. Or that someone's father can no longer work. Or it could be a father who was pushed out of the church. The church that actually taught them to get to where they are today and then were pushed out of the church because of what they became, because they became addicted or they had bad behavior, whatever it be. Show the compassion, not the unforgiveness. If, you, if, you, if you're apart from someone and they're not doing well, it's time to let go of that and be an example to others. All right, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have so we have the two, the one and the one again for the magician for the twins in their magician embodiment plus four, which is the emperor taking back control of your situation, and then six, which is all about love, family, and community. All right, so the emperor being the father energy here. And the two of the high priestess. High priestess and the emperor. All right, let's see what we have for romance angels. Take another deep breath, guys. Clear and aligned. It's just 24-24. On the 24th, all about the queen of wands today. And 24 is omega as well. It's the end of karma. And don't forget the opposite reflection of the 24 is the Two of Cups, which is that very loving bond. Okay, so this April 24th, 
For everyone watching the best in high school of all is concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? We are asking Mary Magdalene and Jesus, please. What is she doing? Stop working so hard, including me. On the bottom of the deck is her grace. My mother's name is Mary Grace. And it's 17. 17 is the star. It's the underlying energy, her grace. And the light field is beneath that. Light field is 63 of the nine of swords. Okay, so that's the underlying energy. Let's see what we have here. So for Mary Magdalene, we have loving all that is. Number 22 is the fool with the open heart, perpetually, always ready to take a leap of faith. Okay. Trust. Knowing it's always there. Embracing the light and loving all that is. And also know that 22 is a four, which is the emperor. So the other card from Jesus is the choice, number 62 which came up, I think it was yesterday, the choice is, um, the 62 is that eight of swords of the prison, the anxiety, the mental prison, or physical prison, but the choice is up to you. That you can embrace the light and loving all that is, or you can imprison yourself in trying to figure out what's good and what's not. Instead, just love everything, embrace the light. By her grace, the star, the fool, the star, and the prison. Okay? There's the polarities there, loving all that is, and the choice, and her grace. It's like reconciling the two. By the grace of, of source. So then two more cards came out. The Lovers and the Pearl Threaded, which are 57 and 38, which is the Three of Swords and the Queen of Cups, which is very much the Divine Feminine energy. So here we have four total. So again, we have the Emperor. We have two, we have one, one, and two. So one and one again of the Magicians each, the Masculine and the Feminine, and then the two of the High Priestess and four of the emperor, again. Bringing in the three of swords of the lovers, of the heartbreak and separation, but also the healing and the forgiveness, and the three wise men, because there's always a third needed to expand. It's that third energy again. And the pearl threaded is all about the connection with everyone, loving all that is being the common thread and the pearls being the junction where the, the vein valves are, right? That's where you may find the pearl. The pearl that developed over time from bacteria or whatever it is. You always need that thorn, that third energy, that conflict, you know, that ex helps you expand in order for the beauty to develop over time and develop that common thread between you. Just like a loving relationship. It takes time to develop a common thread by allowing and trusting each other over time. And that's how you build connection. There's very much a focus here for me. Oh, for the feminine. But the choice is yours to stay in that prison or just love all that is. To not judge your masculine. To know that you don't know everything there, there is to know and that it's okay that you don't know that. That you love him anyway. I'm going to read <sighs> Loving All That Is. Number 22. You wise awakening being, you can love all that is. 
You can love your tears and your sadness, for they are a testament to your open heart. You can love your numbness and fatigue, for they show that you have worked hard and are now in need of rest. You can love your energy and passion, even when you are so far ahead of the pack, you have to wait a while for everyone else to catch up. Maybe a day, maybe a decade or so, because you choose not to curb your enthusiasm for anyone. You can love your anger because underneath its fire is a desire for respect. And you can love your peacefulness because within your heart, you really don't care much for fighting sometimes. If there's something that is shaming you, worrying you, challenging you, it's okay to just love it. It will make sense when it needs to. And until then, just love it, even when it hurts. For it's part of your own divine nature awakening. It may just be like a painful cramp happening because it's been curled up for too long. This oracle brings you a sweet message. You are just asked to love. Everything else will take care of itself. A state of being, allowing, receiving, becoming one with all that is. Okay, so to remember, you're never ever doing anything wrong. Do you really think you have control over any of this? And don't you know by now that your guides are always there keeping you on path? Is there something else you want me to read also? Um, the lovers, we're going to read for you, 57. The lovers. Yes, it's love. It drives you forward and pulls you back to your heart. It makes the mind mad with misunderstanding and breaks it open to enlightened compassion. It is love. Your yearning heart shall have it. Your destiny is to be the lover of the beloved. This oracle brings a message of love, love, love. It is finding you now. Be open to it in all its forms. Be the god and the goddess of love and paint the town red. Play in passionate embrace with life as your lover and prepare to receive even more than what you believe you are capable of handling. Love is a magic word that holds the universe together. It is both an emotion and sometimes ephemeral that lives like a fire's glow or the pink light on the clouds after the sun has set. It is alive and yet undefinable. It causes the heart to beat more rapidly, feelings to show, and young people to write, sing, and dance, and become totally immersed in its hold. Love can beckon coyly, or flaunt itself with wants and abandon. Love can live and grow seemingly forever, or vanish in a fleeting moment when we least suspect. And in the twilight of our years, reflecting on the life we have lived, it is love which colors every turn and twist of our memory, and when we pass from this earthly plane, it will be love that will light our soul, on its journey home. Okay. So just trust and know that that all is well. And everything is as it is for a reason. So just trust and have faith. Be the fool with that perpetual open heart. Love yourself and enjoy your life. Don't let anything hold you back from that. Okay? Not even yourself. Alright guys. I don't think there was anything else. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye.